Hey guys, so over the past few months, we've been doing quite a bit of work on uh, how to play a potential infrastructure bill. Whenever that may happen, uh, looks like it's a 2021 story from sort of the reading of the tea leaves and people we talk to on the research side. And uh, we've kind of come down to, to narrow it down, I should say, to a handful of stocks, a couple of ETFs. And I just wanted to give you a bit of a glimpse of uh, the opportunities we're seeing purely from an optical perspective. In other words, through the lens of charts. And so in order to show you this, um, there's really two uh, equities I want to spend some time on. One of them is called Vulcan Materials. The ticker symbol is V as in Victor, M as in Mary, C as in Charlie. And this is a longer term chart. So our opportunity here, that the opportunity that we're seeing, I should say, in, in the infrastructure stocks, um, infrastructure spending stocks or infrastructure construction stocks is really what it is. Um, this is an opportunity that we're looking through the lens of, uh, you know, again, probably close to a six to 12 month kind of time frame, right? So this is not something we expect to, to explode to the upside tomorrow or the day after. This is really a six to 12 month thing. But we think that's exactly where the opportunities are. The longer the base, you know, the better the potential move to the upside in this particular case through the lens of simple technical analysis. This, by the way, is a logarithmic chart. If you don't know what that is, I'm sure Google, Google can tell you that. Um, but um, a logarithmic chart, long-term chart of Vulcan materials, again, VMC is the ticker symbol. So uh, what you can see here is that essentially we had a big, obviously big bottoming uh, base. And then we've, it's been choppy going for this stock, really like for the broader stock market for the this year. And, and even really, quite frankly, this stock hasn't done anything since like 2016. So we think there's a big opportunity uh, here to get long a stock like this. Uh, probably has upside to 250 or so at some point. But again, we need the catalyst to come to fruition. We need to get past the near-term noise and then start to get... Um, some some more sort of hand and feet uh, in terms of infrastructure build potential um, to actually see the stock move. But from a, from a visual perspective, this is about as bullish as you can hope uh, for an equity to look like through the lens of again six to twelve months time period. Another one we're looking at here, and this one is 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 much uglier in terms of its its longer term uh, chart. Let me quickly bring this one up so you can see it on long term chart as well. And it's um, GVA. This is a company called Granite Construction. Uh, much smaller, but nonetheless an interesting name. And uh, really, from the long-term perspective, doesn't really look very sexy at all. But if you look at this a bit more near term, you can see that we're starting to put in some really interesting basis here. Again, this is purely from a technical perspective. And of course, we're overlaying our, our bigger picture fundamental top down, bottom up kind of approach to it. Um, and you can see that this is a stock that, I mean, it, if we get anything near a construction spending bill uh, at some point in the next six to 12 months, I see no reason why the stock can't go into the mid to high 30s, right? So a lot of potential upset for a name like this. And by the way, that would only get the stock back to where it was at some point last year. So that's not even really up again, move in terms of time, right? Um, anyway, so I just want to give you some ideas because, uh, you know, I think the biggest and juiciest opportunities are always happening through the lens of a three to six six to 12 month time frame, And um, uh, those are two stocks that we're looking at among a basket of others uh, of how to ultimately play and, uh, and hopefully profit in a, may, a very substantial way from an ultimate infrastructure spending bill whenever that comes to pass. So um, VMC and GVA were the ones, uh, are the ones we're, we're sharing with you here today. Hope it makes sense. Leave us any comments down below if you enjoy this or you have questions, of course, subscribe and we'll see you soon.